Hello, Chef here, and today we've got some fresh fish in the kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to prepare it. This is wild-caught walleye, and this beautiful fish here has been deboned, and it's been uh, uh, descaled as well, so it's ready to go. Really nice. Beautiful pieces. Uh, thank you, Canada. So, uh, check it out. Follow along. We're going to be preparing this beautiful walleye. Okay, so the first thing you want to do with this particular fish and this recipe is we're going to cut them into more manageable sizes like this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, basically, each of these is about two ounces. One, two, three, four. When I'm done, this beautiful end grain maple butcher block just needs a wipe with the towel a few times, and that's it. Within 30 minutes, the wood dries up and there is zero bacteria. Ah, next we have one egg, a bowl and a whisk. Crack the egg. Give it just a little bit of a whip like this. Add a touch of milk, enough to coat all of this fish, like this, give a little whisk. Yeah! This recipe we're using panko Japanese style breading, uh, it's a really nice white breadcrumb and uh, it's, it get, provides a lighter flakier kind of coating. Uh, lots of uh, chefs are using this stuff, especially for uh, different recipes, shrimp, fish, things like that. So we're going to put a little of this on the walleye today. It's going to be good, let me tell you. Okay, as with the standard breading station, we're going flour, egg, breadcrumb, uh, this particular recipe I'm using uh, rice flour. It's just a little bit lighter, a little crispier, and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that rice flour right on the fish for step one. Okay, just like this. Uh, once you have what you feel is enough rice flour on, you move to the next step. So here we go. Uh, this fish has been floured as you can see. Very nice. Oh yeah, and then we're going egg. Okay. Flour, egg, panko. And I'm also putting a touch of Cajun spice right on this fish. Just like that. And that's the finished breaded walleye, ready to be pan fried. I've got a hot skillet, 350 degree Fahrenheit oil, ready to go.